We continue our discussion on ASU football, looking ahead at the 2019 season with a former ASU quarterback, current member of the coaching staff, Mike Bercovici. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's still getting uh, still getting used to being called coach, but happy to be on. So with this transition, how has it been going, going from player just a, a couple of months ago now to coach and getting used to that title? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I think the biggest thing is – you know, being four or five years removed from school, it's obviously, you know, the guys have been extremely re respectful towards me turning into the coaching role now. But it's been great. I mean, it's, you know, we we do a lot as coaches and, you know, you, you try to half of it is motivation, half of it's teaching. And you just got to bring the juice every single day, especially in the dog days of camp. But we're excited to have an opponent in sight within the next 10 days and uh, get this thing rolling. What's been the most surprising part of this transition you know the surprising thing is is really you know on your body I mean you know as a player you get beat up and you take the bumps and bruises but here you know you gotta we're here at five in the morning and we leave sometimes not till 11 12 at night so I mean you just got to get your body in shape to having full work days and it's uh, it's been a grind but I've enjoyed every second of it Talking to Mike Bercovici, ASU graduate assistant, former starting quarterback for the Sun Devils. Now, back when you were a player, there was a pretty wide open QB competition. This offseason, the main storyline has been a QB competition. Did it bring you back a little bit, getting back to Tempe and knowing that there was kind of a wide open competition for the guy under center? Absolutely. I mean, that was a big reason why I wanted to be a part of this. When I talked to Coach Edwards and Coach Likens, their biggest thing was, you know, quarterback competition, the way that that all goes about is essential for not only to see who the starter is, but, you know, for the morale of the team. And I, I wanted to be there, uh, part of the quarterback unit, just to kind of show them how the ebbs and flows and competing goes. But I think it went really smooth. And the, the best part about it is they're all great guys, and they kind of competed in their own fashion, their own style. And and they're just all team guys. So it never felt like a like an individual battle. This was just, you know, contributing to the team. Anytime you step in that huddle, whether it's the ones, twos, threes, you gotta treat yourself like a starter. And that's kind of what been my message. And they've all done a great job of just coming to work and, and acting like a pro about it. Given your unique perspective to going through that process, what is the toughest part of going through a quarterback competition like that where I'm sure every throw, every play, every moment is scrutinized? Yeah, the biggest thing is like not look not looking too far into it. And Coach Herm said it best. You can't walk out of the you know your your set of plays and looking to see how one coach respond to you and to see if he's smiling at the other guy or not talking to you. You just kind of have to, you know, control what you can control, play every snap like you're the starter, and just go out there and compete. You can't be afraid to make mistakes. And that's what's awesome about a practice field. And that's what's been so good about these young guys. They've had the opportunity to make mistakes or to make incredible plays or to make plays that they can sometimes throw away or pull the trigger and, and go for it. It's It's been really helpful to see them in a practice environment because when the game time comes, there's no time for mental errors. And they've done a great job of learning on the flow and, and understanding what real – Pac-12 football is all about. When you were in that quarterback competition, you weren't the Jaden Daniels in this situation. You had to wait and find your opportunity, and then you took advantage. Now that that decision has been made, what's been that main message to the rest of the room? And you know, what what are you just really trying to do to make sure that everybody's ready to go come October or uh, August 29th? Excuse me. Yeah, that, that's my favorite part about this. Is you know, most guys, you think your message is a starter and how to just excel i mean my my experience comes from being a backup and that's why i feel like i can resonate a lot with these guys who didn't win the starting job because at the end of the day you're one snap away you're one play away and that's cliche but it but it is the truth so if you don't see yourself like a starter the second that you are now the starter it's too late so prepare every day like a starter um just just holding yourself to a standard. I mean, however, I always, I always tell those guys, however good you think you are, you're, you're 10 times better than that. And you got to start thinking that way. So they're young and they're, you know, they're, they got, they've got them taking as many notes as possible because they've got a lot of information to absorb. But those, those guys are so smart, both Dylan and um, Dylan, Joey, Jaden, Ethan. I mean, those guys are really like it's an amazing group of quarterbacks. So their future is bright regardless of their age. So they're all going to be uh, fun to watch.
Coach Bercovici, we appreciate the time. I know it's a busy couple of weeks, but thanks so much for giving us an inside look on what it's like to navigate a quarterback room during a competition. Of course. Thanks for having me on.